What's up, everybody? It's fresh air. Been called to send a message. It's windy out, and I apologize. Upon this awakening and rebirth, I've been given more power, more skill, more things to see, more things, more doors, and more energy that is overwhelming. So this is a message to the people that ask for things and try to manifest things and talk about things and visualize things. When we think about our daily activities and what we're doing, you gotta think harder. Maintain that mental state of mind where you can stay in your purpose, stay in your instincts, stay in your intuition, stay in your strengths, stay in your skills, Motivation that will change you. I have been going through a hard, hard time in the last few weeks. A lot of people have been in a certain community going against. All I can say is I forgive you and you can move on and do something else with somebody else. Okay? I don't know what that's supposed to mean to you, but I'm telling you, you can move on and do something else. You don't have to be messing around with people that have real intentions to change the world. You don't have to go against people that have the purpose, the mindset, the skills, the understanding. And what it takes to make it. <laughs> I don't know who this is talk this is for, but y'all be strong. Things happen every day. People are taken out of the picture and never to be heard. To be left behind. To be left to the wolves and continue suffering. So when I woke up, I saw the whole world. I saw dimensions, things, and visualizations that were very startling, very scary, very sad. And then I started looking at the, the source of some of this energy of where it's coming from. And I started pinpointing some regions in the world that are plagued by unholy acts. Unholy manifestations through <clears throat> a community that's been lied to. There's a community out there that's been lied to. They've been told to come after me. I can assure you, you can move on and do something else. Don't do it with me. Don't do it with anybody else. Don't think you're going to be the one controlling the destiny of this humanity. There's always backup. There's always somebody else ready, right behind. The divine timing, the purpose of life. Understand this, we all have a purpose in life. We all have a meaning in life. We all have some of them, some people have generational curses, have inheritance stolen from them understandings that have been stolen from them. That's fucking horrible. I want you to know that 
I'm fresh air and uh, I'm going through a lot of spiritual warfare right now. It seems so strong. It's just overwhelming me. And I'm not a drama starter, nor do I like feeling like I'm a part of the drama. I tackle it. I attack it. I visualize it. I see it. I, I, I analyze it. I make sure I'm correct before I say anything about it to the collective. Maintaining a positive balance in your skills and how you manifest things. Understand your powers. Understand your will. Understand your thoughts and emotions that are tied with the things you do. Understand that daily activities may affect your routines moving forward. They always say things happen for a reason, right? There's forces behind things that some people can't see. And upon my awakening, I've been starting to learn of those entities. And it's scary because I'm starting to see a lot of corruption all around me. Corruptive. We are at the end of times. We are in the brinks of collapse, not lying. They're prosecuting our president. They're prosecuting people of good purpose, good meaning, good direction, peace and prosperity. This is happening all around the world with destruction. And I want you guys to know, the ones in charge, you know who you are. The ones wreaking havoc on everybody's community and everybody's comments or you're just, you're shadow banning people, you're, you're, you're cutting people down, you're reporting people, you're stealing their material, you're, you're, you're putting people in a position where they have nothing else to do but fight back and speak about it and talk about it on that voice, the voice of reasoning, the voice of truth, the voice of everything that you ever thought was possible. Believe I am fresh air. Believe, believe I am fresh air. And be seeing the truth, chosen ones, all around the world, stand up, do your thing. Maintain, step into your purpose. Now's the time. There's a spiritual war going on right now against the evil intentions of demonic kryptonite people. Now, I've been already hard at work. And with the sacrifices I take, I take my own sacrifices. I am in the predicament I'm in because I did not sell myself to the devil or sell myself to the, sell my soul to the devil by being clouded by greed. Greed. Greed is what fucking got you to the point of wanting to steal my shit or anybody other stuff that is positive or worth value. I prayed for you, I forgive you, but I can't always talk for other people. I'm a love and respect type of person. That's the vibration I give every day, no matter what I try. Even in the anger I feel, I am trying to show you I'm here. I've been through so much in my life. Suffering has, has to stop for me. It has to. I can't do it anymore. Seriously. I'm too old for this shit. 
all my life I've been ridiculed and told I'm a different person, I'm this, I'm that. I'm tired of that. A lot of people are there thinking I'm just going through a mental, a mental fucking breakdown. Yeah, because why? You are putting spells on me. What are you talking about? Fuck, I just had my producer fucking go against me. Fucking talking shit, telling me to meet him up. Like, what the fuck? The person I've been with for almost two years. All of a sudden just turned my back on me. What am I supposed to do with that? I got my family turn my back on me too. What am I supposed to do? How is this supposed to be good for anything? When you feel alone and you can't do nothing. Life is hard. Lonely. And you know why? I'm starting to feel what a lot of other people are feeling. What do you mean? I'm not the only one. It's not all about me. This is bigger than me. Don't you get it? This is bigger than me. It's not even about me. It's about everybody suffering out there. Needs the help. Needs the guidance. Needs that love and respect. Needs that word. What are you talking about? Tell me something different than that. But you're going to continue shedding your demonic fucking vibrations out to the world. All the hate that you put out. I have had it up to here. My I'm going through one of the hardest times in my life. And I gotta sit down and you know what? I'm gonna hang it up, man. Not gonna record anymore. Cause obviously people are shadow banning me, reporting my YouTube channels, reporting my fucking videos, fucking trying to make up false shit to the you know the law enforcement. I mean, I got so much shit going on right now. It's just not even funny. Cause I keep it real, true, 100. I wanna wrap this up. I'm gonna end with a, a, th a thought. Something to give you a homework. Start looking around you. Start utilizing your intuition to the fullest. Start making sure that your intentions and what you do not hurting any other people mentally, state of mind. Mental mental health is at an all time high for people suffering right now. Check out the homeless people encampments everywhere. You're gonna try to tell me I'm doing something wrong by trying to reach out to those people and reach and give them a hope? Give them hope? Everybody that needs love and respect that they deserve, they need it. Can't tell me anything different. Inspire, motivate, and give them a sense of belonging, love and respect that the God Almighty will save them. So I don't know who this message is for, but do it and do the kind thing and just let it go. Don't keep pursuing to try to stop me from my purpose in life. Just know that you too are loved. Even though you're doing hurtful things to me, you can stop. I forgive you. But I can't talk for everybody. God bless you and everybody around. Life is dangerous if you don't open your eyes. Have a great day. God bless.